Hey what's up guys, today I started up my Xbox and everything looked different, as you can see, um, it says resume Cortana now, where it would give the last game you played, like in full size, um, the four games you played last are still here, as well as your prints are still down here luckily, uh, but the guide looks entirely different, it's one press now, which I absolutely love, I really really miss that from the 360, is one press on the Xbox button to get to the guide. I really, really like it that it's one button press on the Xbox button to get to the guide. From the guide, you can easily see go home here, my games and apps, and the store, um, as well as recent stuff, of course, which you can easily switch to. Another nice thing the gold tab, so easily going for the deals with gold and games with gold tab as well as your pins are down here again friends are still the same parties are still the same they um, have moved places they are above the guide button um, and achievements are still the same and it's giving you a leaderboard a quick leaderboard which is really really nice um, and as you can see you can easily compare yourself to your friends uh, and see the performance Chats are still the same, uh, notifications are still the same, Beam streaming has been added, so you can easily broadcast your game to Beam, um, and down here is the settings still. So, that's the community tab, still the same as you used to, which is very very nice, and the store is still the same, but the things that I've changed is the speed at which you can open the guide button, as you can see, it's really really fast. As you can see we're in game now, well obviously not in, in game but well, that doesn't matter too much. If you press the Xbox button the guide is instantly there. Even when you are in game it will load this fast which is very very nice. Props to the Xbox team um, for doing this, I'm really really happy about it. Um, and as you can see you can easily go home by tapping the guide button and pressing A. It's going out. still play screen and make screenshots, record that and press for game DVR. As you can see this gives you a lot more options than it used to. It gives you like 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 3 minutes, 5 minutes as well as start recording which is a very very nice feature so you can start recording to whatever you're going to do and not what you have done. Very very nice and as you ask me. Co-pilot yeah, co has been added which is very very nice. This way you can control, um, um, you can use two controllers to control one um, person's profile like for example um, I lost my right hand or it's not functional and I still use my left hand. Someone else can help me by grabbing another controller while co-pilot mode is on. Um, and he, and he or she can uh, be my right hand, of course, which is very, very nice. Obviously, it's a lot of fun to do challenges with, with friends, of course, <laughs> which is something else you can use it for. But it's mainly made for people um, who, who have lost um, the ability to use a part of their hand, of course. And this way they can still uh, manage to, to play games, which is very, very nice and which is something I'm really happy about that it's Xbox is supporting so much so yeah that is everything in the update the quick guide the new features um, and a little bit new look which I really really like it doesn't even take too much to get used to because um, it's mainly still the same as you can see let me go to home the game you last played is only smaller this time it gives you a little bit more information on the game hub the achievements and the share button is very very close as well the, the recent thing is still here um, and your pins are still here which is very very nice so yeah that is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you guys next time